Hey guys, it is Spooky Noodles, and I come to you with another video. This is what I'm reading now, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy. It's just a quick video of what I'm currently reading, um, and what I'm t currently taking breaks on, and other stuff. Um, so Lisa Tuttle's A Nest of Nightmares, I'm gonna take a little bit of a break from it because the story I'm reading currently in that, in that collection kind of is I don't want to say boring but it's not catching my interest like the first three stories did like I was like couldn't put the book down and then I got to this one story and it's the long I think it's the longest story in this book so uh, this collection of book uh, stories so um, it's a little hard to get through so I'm gonna take a break from it and then pick it back up when I'm you know more interested in it so I basically failed my lady's first challenge uh, I apologize I knew I wasn't good at challenges <laughs> but um yeah I uh, I uh, read uh, the voice I, I listened to the audiobook uh, the voice of the night and that ended up becoming my first book of the year so yeah I failed the ladies first challenge I apologize um, ladies um I tried to read Lisa Tuttle's book but uh like I said, I got three stories in, I was having a blast, and then I got to uh, Flight to Byzantium, I think is what it's called, and I just kind of lost my interest in the story. I should just skip it and then come back to it, but I don't feel like skipping right now. Um, besides, there's a lot of books I have to read in my TBR pile, so I'm trying to get through those. Um, so yeah, but, uh, what am I currently reading now? Well, my, uh, mom has some audible credits that she's gonna kind of give to me. Like she's gonna gift a book to me. So I may be listening to either, uh, Mongrels by Stephen Graham Jones or The Turtle Boy by Keelan Patrick Burke. Um, I told you guys that I, I had the ebook for uh, Turtle Boy, but I didn't know there was an audiobook for it. So that makes it a little bit easier because it's easy to listen for two hours at night before I go to bed. And uh, yeah, it, it's I'm a better listener than I am a reader. So uh, yeah, that's how I got to finish Dean Koontz's uh, uh, The Voice of the Night so quickly. Um, I just motored through that audiobook because I was so it, infatuated with it. It was like such a good book. But uh, what am I currently reading now? I'm reading a few books. I'm trying to test the waters with a few books. Um, you know, get a taste for each book. I read a little bit of uh, House of Illusions already. Uh, I think I read it to you guys. And uh, by Ruby Jean Jensen. And uh, I think I might continue with that book soon but uh for right now i'm reading within the woods by tony urban and this is kind of a weird book it's like it feels like the printing of this book is meant for kindle but for some reason i i got it in paperback form like there's no tab spacings or whatever it's just like one continuous you know oops oh there goes my bookmark <laughs> Um, so that's what I mean when I say, uh, um, yeah, here we go, put the bookmarker back in there, but this is the book I'm currently reading by attorney, to attorney, Tony Urban, right there, there's his name, Tony Urban, um, I hear great things about this book and I can't wait to give it more, more of a read, um, it starts off with this boy getting whipped by his dad and he's walking down the road and some strangers pick him up and then the chapter ended like that and then i think the next chapter is uh i guess the next chapter continues with that uh, car ride so i'm looking forward to this one um this is a coming of age story. I doubt it's gonna hit, uh, get into the top five, but it might make the top 10 list for sure. I mean, there ha isn't, you know, I've read like a total of eight coming of age stories. So 
it's gonna make the top 10 list <laughs> but uh um so far i've read uh ghoul by brian Keane, the troop by nick cutter i've read summer of night by uh D dan simmons uh october boys by adam millard dean Koontz's the voice of the night um boys life by robert r mccammon traveling vampire show by uh Richard Lehman, and then Fear by Ronald Kelly. That's eight books. This will be number nine, and uh, it's going pretty well so far. I'm, I'm, I'm getting used to the guys writing right now. Um, very kind of like the narrator cusses a lot, I guess. Like uh, one of the lines that he says is uh, uh, uh. Here it is. The old man had laid into him with his leather razor strap. And even though he was pushing 50, the fucker was still quick, especially when it came to unleashing his anger on his sons. So yeah, um, the narrator cusses and I'm, I wasn't really used to reading that, you know, hearing the narrator just say that fucker. <laughs> so <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is a good book so far. I only am one chapter in, but, uh, it's going well so far. I'm ta tasting some other books. Like, um, like, I'm technically still, like, I'm just taking a break from it, but Nest of Nightmares. Um, I'm just taking a break from it. Um, I'm on page, like, 40, and there's, like, 208 books or pages in this book. So, um, I really got to get out of my game. Um, <laughs> how are you guys? But, uh, yeah, another book I might try out a little bit is Douglas Clegg's Coming of Age, Three Dark Novellas. Um, this one just looks like it's easy to read. Um... I just, I, I don't know how it's going to go, but uh, I can read a little bit to you right now. Um, there, here's the first line. There is no madness, but the madness of the gods. There is no purity, but the purity of love. So, someone once wrote that. <laughs> this is the next line. Um, so, I'm looking forward to reading this. Um, these All these books I'm reading in my tbr are coming of age um except for that lisa tuttle book and i think it's just t time to read coming of age novels again um so i'm gonna motor through some coming of ages and i'll get back to lisa tuttles when i feel like i'm uh when i feel like i'm losing that love to uh not love but uh losing that like uh when I get burnt out on coming of age, I'll move back to Lisa Tuttle is what I'm trying to say. Um, Lisa Tuttle is an amazing writer. I'd suggest you check her out. I'm just having trouble with this one story that is in the book at the moment. It's about a struggling writer who uh, is going to go sign her books for some people in Texas. And <sighs> I don't know, it sounds like the just based on the title alone and what I've read so far, it sounds like that the flight takes a turn into her fantasy land, but I'm not really sure about that. I got like a sore on my tongue and it kind of hurts. I, ah. Anyways, <laughs> sorry guys, I'm being gross again. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm reading currently. Um, I'm going to probably get an audiobook soon, either Mongrels or The Turtle Boy. The Turtle Boy is like three hours long, so I'll motor through that easily. I'll probably finish that in one night. Mongrels, on the other hand, is like eight to ten hours. I can't recall right now. But um, that one will take me a few days, just like it did with uh, The Voice of the Night. Um, so uh, get ready for a another review soon um and i'm gonna be reading uh tony urban's within the woods so 
And like I said, it's like structured like it's a Kindle, like uh, not a Kindle, an uh, ebook. But uh, it's not, it's a paperback. So there's like no tabs, which is kind of a little bit irritating to be honest. I kind of liked when they indent all the, the first chapters or uh, first pages or first paragraphs. Oh my God, I can't talk today. But uh, yeah, uh, the book's going well so far. Um, I'm already bent it like crazy because I I like really grab the book when I'm reading. <sighs> but yeah, um, let me uh, end this video before I start a yawning fit and just go to sleep. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I have a book haul coming probably tomorrow. So it'll be the last part of the uh, December book haul. Um, I did, I recorded a sp short video today with a book I got in the mail. And now I'm waiting for the rest of the books to get here. Um, so yeah, uh, I know you guys will be excited for that. I love, you know, uh, I love sharing with the books that I got. And most of the books I'm getting are coming of age books. So. Be on the lookout. Um, I'm Spooky Noodles. I hope you had a great day and a spooky night, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Now I am become death, the destroyer of